What up, y'all? What's your boy, Chance? Um, I'm just sitting here playing some Skateboard 43. And I just want to go over a couple things. And that is as to why, you know, I am being forced to quit music. Like I said, I don't want to, but I'm kind of happy to. Like, it's not something I've planned on. Um, as you guys know, with my doctors and stuff and that going on, um, I have been getting texts, emails periodically from my doctor stating how bad the injuries really are. Um, You know, like, even though I did do those couple songs, you know, on my, on my label's channel, um, it fucking kills me. <clears throat> you know, to be quitting music like I have to. Um, like I said, you know, with, the doctor visits and then telling me everything that's going on on top of everything else. It's it's honestly not worth it anymore. I didn't fight it. I tried to fight the doctors. They're not letting me fight it. They're telling me I have to wait, uh, possibly for good. Like I said. Um, and reason, like, along with the doctors, is because of all these labels. Just constantly bashing and ripping and tearing me down. It's, it's getting to be overwhelming and really bad. Like, the discrimination is beyond just beyond anything. Like, it's beyond bullshit. It's very messed up. Um, you know, I've had a couple of labels over the last few days tell me that I don't belong in the music industry, that I, that I straight out suck, that I don't know what I'm doing. And honestly, like, the negativity has gotten to be so much that it's, it's overwhelming. It really is overwhelming for me to have to face that kind of stuff every day. Like, people don't understand how mentally you know, how mentally hurting that is. Like, I've even got underground labels bashing on me every day. And I, I can't do it no more, guys. I, just, I can't, can't take the bashing from these labels on top of what I'm already going through with the doctors. It's really a lot to deal with. Yeah, I know what you guys are thinking, oh, like you, can't, you know, you can't give up. It's what you love to do. Yeah, it might be what I love to do and everything like that. But between, <clears throat> you know, like I said, the doctors and what they're telling me and all these labels just tearing me down every day, just telling me that I'm not good, that I don't belong in the music industry, and just saying all these negative things. And all these just vile, degrading things, like, it's, it's very overwhelming.
And like I said, it's not that I want to quit, but I'm being forced out of the music industry. Both medically and prejudicially. Like, I'm getting pushed out in both ways. Because as you guys may or may not know, I did suffer a vocal blowout just recently. And I've been going back and forth to the doctors almost daily to find out what's going on. Just little trips back and forth. And, you know, just receiving email after email, call after call from these labels just telling me that I'm no good and that like, because of my physical appearance, they will not sign me. And then it's, it's sad. Because, like, you know, I put everything I had into my music for 10 plus years. 10 plus years. I've, you know, put everything I had into it. <clears throat> and to not only suffer a vocal blowout and almost lose my voice entirely, but to continue to be degraded by almost every label, is it's overwhelming. And yes, I'll admit, there are times where I break down into tears because it's that fucked up. Because I got a um, message from a guy today that said that he doesn't think it's because of my physical appearance, yes it is. I've had multiple labels, major underground labels, indie labels, independent labels telling me that because of my physical appearance, they will not sign me because I don't fit what they're looking for. And I get that with every label and that's and one thing I've learned over the years is that's their way of telling me that I'm not good enough. That's them being nice about it. Yeah, there have been a couple labels that have been straight blunt forward and just flat out said that I'm ugly and that I suck and that I don't need to be doing it. But for the most part, I've had labels just telling me indirectly in their own way that I'm not good enough. And guys, you gotta understand, I've put forth eight to 10 years of my life for this. You know, and I hate to say it, but for me, it's, it's time to move on from the music industry and find something else for me to do. You know, like my photography or my new, you know, skating, channel that I'm going to be doing, not only gaming style skateboarding, but, you know, doing skateboarding documentaries, music videos, and stuff like that on there. And, you know, it's, you guys don't understand how degrading getting told that you're not good enough every day is. I know you guys are going to say, hey, you know, you shouldn't listen to that, but a person can only take so much. A person can only take so much of being degraded before they finally say enough is enough. And believe it or not, I have tried changing my appearance on multiple. Ex I've tried many times. And it just, it wasn't good enough. And a lot of people are telling me, you know, I don't need to change my appearance. And they're right. I shouldn't have to change for anybody. I really shouldn't. Why should I change to fit someone else's perspective of me? Why should I change that? Why can't they accept me for how I am? That's my whole thing. 
I will not change myself for anyone or anything. I refuse to change my appearance. I refuse to do it. Because I will not change who I am for nobody. You either take me as I am and accept me for me or don't accept me at all. That's the way I was raised. I was raised the right way. I wasn't raised to be a sheep. I don't follow trends. I set trends. I make trends. That's what I do. I will not follow what everybody else wants me to be. I will not change myself for anyone. And I know what you guys are thinking, yeah, that's a big part of my problem, but you know what? Why should I have to change for anyone? Why can't these people stop discriminating and accept people for who they are and what they can do? And instead of focusing on their appearance, focus on what they have to offer, what they can bring to the table. Because I've had plenty of people tell me that I need to be with a paying label and stop this whole independent shit. Because a lot of people see the potential in me. But with things being the way they are, not just with the labels, but also medically with everything that's going on right now, I hate to say it, but my music career may very well be done. If I come back, if I gave bad news back from the docs within these next few days, these next couple weeks, my career could very quickly end it. And not that I want it to be, but if it has to be, it has to be. Like I said, I don't want that, but, you know, we'll wait and see. I'm hoping there's no bad news. I really am hoping that. Um, I actually go back to the doctors tomorrow around, I think like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. to find out what's going on. And then from there, God knows what else. But, you know, all in all, like, you know, like I said, I've given eight to ten years of my life for this. You know, I've given it everything I've got and more, more than most, you know, and I've lost weeks, days of sleep, just bust my ass, doing what I do, putting in the hard work, day in and day out, and yeah, a lot of it was worth it, because I came out with some really good music, some really good songs, which a lot of people enjoyed, and like, my biggest hit right now is the song, Please Notice Me. Um, with over 400 views on YouTube itself. Which, that was pretty cool to see. But, you know, even with that song being as big as it is right now, like, labels still want nothing to do with me. And it's mostly due to my physical appearance. It's that, and I don't have any money. Like, I will not pay a label to sign me. I refuse to do it. Because the way I was raised, and the way I see it, is paying a label to sign you is like paying your boss for you to work at your job. Like, you're not going to pay somebody... For you to work there. 
they're going to pay you to work there which is how it should work in the music industry. You shouldn't have to, you know, pay anybody to be signed. They should sign you for free and pay you to do what you do. Because, yes, I have a lot to offer. I mean, a lot. Because I know how to engineer instrumentals, beats, You know, I can do some raps. I can, I used to be able to do screams, but I can't really do them much now because of the blowout that I'm going through. Um, you know, I can sing, I can play guitar, I can play piano. Hell, I can play a fucking violin on a fucking computer keyboard like it's nobody's business. So, I mean, I do have a lot to offer, but a lot of labels overlook that. So, I really hate to say it, but my time in the music industry may very well be coming to an end. As much as I don't want it to. You know, I'm, I can't afford it. Yes, my music's out on shops and stuff, but I don't have that label backing to really push it. So, I hate to say it, guys, but this may very well be the end of my journey in music. As much as I hate to say it, this could very well be my end. And, uh, and that's something that's very hard for me to come to terms with, because doing music is all I've ever known since 2010. You know, that's all I've ever known. Like, my first show I was supposed to do last month went to shit. Because the owner of the place I was supposed to play at didn't get the times right. And was very unprofessional. So, booking shows is out for me. So I really hate to say it, guys, but this could very well be the end of my career if the doctors do come back with bad news. You know? You know, like I said, I hope they don't come back with bad news, but if they do, what else can I do except retire from music? And like I said, it's not that I want to, it's that I will be medically forced to. Now, like I said, I'm hoping not the case, but at this point, that's looking what, looking like what it could very well end up being. But uh, those are the two reasons why I may very well end up leaving the music industry for good because of very serious medical reasons and because of discrimination against me and me taking it for so long and taking that verbal and mental abuse from these people I just I can't do it no more not do it so I do apologize guys but This is really looking like it could be the real end of my music career. As much as I don't want it to be, that's what it's shaping out to be. And I do apologize. But I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys aren't mad.
like I said before, you know, I do appreciate all my fans, everybody that supported me over the years. You guys are the absolute best. And I hope that if I do have to retire, I do hope that you guys will follow me into the next chapter of my life, whatever that may be. Whether it be photography, whether it be art, whether it be, you know, YouTube channels, what have you. I really do hope you guys will follow me into the next chapter and really support me with it. Because I'm going to need that support. I'm really going to need it. But I just know that I do love you guys very much. You guys have been the best fans in the world. I cannot have asked for any fans better than you guys. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. And I absolutely love every single one of you guys to death. And I just want to thank you guys for this incredible journey. Like, you guys have shown me a lot over the years. But with that being said, I need to hop off here and start thinking about a few things. And I will be actually doing a, another live stream here, probably about four or five hours or so. And I'll see you guys later.